Um, I use Dr. Driscoll's confidence training program because I'm a lawyer and quite frankly I need to be able to speak in public. I think it would be pretty terrifying to go into a courtroom and to stand there silently staring blankly at a judge and it's pretty important that I be able to speak and tell my thoughts and not have a panic attack in the courtroom. Could you imagine every lawyer walking into a courtroom and just standing there staring blankly at a judge? It's horrifying. <laughs> So I use the program and I still use it every day when I go to court and it helps me immensely in my public speaking. You started with uh, high school, right? I did. I started it in high school. I started it in the 10th grade. I had a lot of test anxiety in the 10th grade and it started there. I had trouble public speaking. I had trouble speaking in the classroom and your techniques helped me immensely to rein in my anxiety and be able to effectively take tests and to speak in the classroom. And you got some improvement in your grades, didn't you? I did. My grades went up. My test scores improved. Um, I went from having a 2.75 my first year of college to graduating with a 3.6. So it was very useful, yes. And that's incredible. Yes, it was a, a vast improvement from what I was doing before. The confidence building training also helps you build up confidence. It's it's not just about relaxation and calming your anxiety. It's also you're able to to walk into a room and say what you need to say with confidence and with purpose versus being passive, which is what you want to do when you have a lot of anxiety because you're afraid of how you sound to other people. So this program, this confidence training is immensely wonderful for building your confidence, which is really useful in everyday life and in, in everyday work and school situations. And you're yes. also a clown. And I'm a clown. I'm a bit of a, a class clown, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> You have to develop a sense of humor when you, when you have anxiety and definitely going through the program helps you develop a sense of humor and, and you know, have a laugh at yourself every once in a while, which is very nice. It seems like you would have to be, uh, forgive me if I'm stepping too far, a little bit of have a little bit of a sense of humor if you're going to be a lawyer. You have to have a sense of humor if you're going to be a lawyer. You can't take yourself so seriously. It's definitely true. Yes, there are many situations where you have to step back and laugh versus getting upset. Yes.